Hello there, welcome back to 2230. Today, we're delving into some significant developments in Malaysian politics. On November 9, the Malaysian High Court delivered a verdict that has sent shockwaves through the political landscape. Syed Sadiq, the former youth and sports minister and current member of parliament for Mule, has been found guilty on corruption charges. The charges against him include abetting in criminal breach of trust, misappropriation of property, and money laundering. The High Court, presided over by Judge Azhar Abdul Hamid, ruled that the defense was unable to cast reasonable doubt against the prosecution's case, leading to a conviction on all four charges. The sentencing is noteworthy, with Syed Sadiq receiving a seven-year jail term, two strokes of the cane, and a hefty RM 10 million fine. The severity of the punishment reflects the gravity of the charges. The first charge, abetting criminal breach of trust, resulted in a three-year jail term and one stroke of the cane. This charge was related to the misappropriation of RM 1 million entrusted to a former official of the Bursatu Party's youth wing. The court also found Syed Sadiq guilty of misusing property, leading to a two-year imprisonment and one stroke of the cane. This charge involved the misappropriation of RM120000 from a Maybank Islamic BHD account. Additionally, the former minister faced two charges of money laundering, each carrying a two-year jail term and a RM5 million fine. These charges will run concurrently. In response to the verdict, Syed Sadiq expressed his intention to appeal the sentence, maintaining his innocence. He emphasized his trust in the judicial system and conveyed his respect for the court's decision. Furthermore, he mentioned that he would address his position within the Malaysian United Democratic Alliance, MUDA, after discussions with party members and leaders later today. This development is significant not only for Syed Sadiq personally but also for the political landscape in Malaysia. As a leader who has been at the forefront of youth politics, his conviction has sparked discussions about the impact on MUDA and the broader political scenario. It's a complex situation, and as always, I'm eager to hear your thoughts on this matter. What's your take on the verdict? Do you think this will have lasting implications for Malaysian politics? Drop your comments below, like this video if you found it informative, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Until next time, this is 2230, signing off.